What's going on fellow cops? I think I have to welcome back to a brand new Fortnite video. My name is Creek, and today I have for you guys some pretty exciting news for Fortnite Mobile, including Fortnite Mobile Android and Fortnite Mobile iOS. So obviously about a week ago, Fortnite released on Android platforms for pretty much every device except for a little bit of the older phones, the weaker phones, but pretty much every newer Android device you can now play Fortnite on to some degree. And Epic Games just released a whole new statement a whole article about where mobile's at and some updates some new changes that's going to be coming to fortnite mobile in the next month or so so this is something that i've been wondering for a while and something i've been looking forward to is actually controller support on fortnite mobile because let's be honest controlling fortnite on a cell phone or on a tablet isn't really the easiest thing to do it kind of hurts your hands a little bit and after a while your hands get kind of sore and they get tired and it's just not really as fun as a mouse and keyboard or a controller so you know a lot of people including me have tried plugging a controller into their phone but fortnite just does not work with a controller on mobile yet but that is going to be changing epic games said that we haven't touched controller support in some time but we're beginning to test some various controller setups as we work to enable support we're going to give you a status update on these when we get to a better state so epic games is currently working on adding in controller support for mobile so if you're playing on a phone you're playing on you know android or ios you'll be able to plug a controller up to your phone you know wire or bluetooth and then play Fortnite with a controller just like you do on Xbox or on Switch or on PlayStation. Now, something else really big as well is uh, Fortnite is going to be adding in 60 FPS to mobile devices. Right now, all mobile devices, including Android and iOS, only go up to 30 frames per second. And uh, they said in the near future, we're going to be unlocking 60 FPS functionality on a limited set of high-end devices. Uh, we're doing some validation on these devices to make sure they can maintain a high level of performance over multiple games without overheating. And you're going to be able to drop into matches with more clarity than ever before and uh, save those crisp plays to share with your friends so obviously 60 fps is a lot more fun to play with it's smoother looks nicer on your eyes it's actually easier on your eyes too and it's just overall a better experience so if you have a higher end phone you're probably going to be able to play fortnite in 60 fps soon which is amazing and then finally and this is a big one literally on every single mobile fortnite video i make there's actually some some comments talking about this and that's just that you know your phone just doesn't quite run Fortnite that well on mobile and uh, what can you do to fix it well uh, I'm happy to say that Epic Games is actually working on uh, pushing Fortnite on older phones and lower end phones so if you have a phone that's a few years old or a phone that's just you know not as powerful as some of the newer ones Epic Games is looking to find ways to reduce you know the amount of memory Fortnite takes up and all that stuff uh, to let people with older phones be able to play Fortnite so if you have a phone like an Android uh, or not an Android uh, IO, iPhone like five or six you might be able to play Fortnite in the near future or like a, a you know a three or four year old Android phone you might be able to play Fortnite on it in the near future uh, which is which is gonna be really good and then lastly Epic Games did say that they are gonna be reducing or, or finding ways to reduce the file size of updates on mobile because obviously on mobile phones you have to go over network or Wi-Fi and downloading giant files on your phone isn't really the best thing to do because you know Verizon and all those people they're not that great with downloads you know they kind of suck and stuff like that so apologies if you work at Verizon but the downloads kind of stink a lot of the times I'm sure you guys know so uh you know smaller update files will obviously help a lot of people out and yeah that's about it for this video here just some new news about Fortnite mobile Android want to keep you guys up on the loop in that and uh, as always what's your favorite thing I announced here in this video I'm really looking forward to the controller support I can't wait to play you know Fortnite on mobile with a controller that's gonna be amazing I'm gonna walk in to like the doctor's office with like my, my Xbox controller hook it up to my phone tell my mom to hold the phone while I play Fortnite it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be so good but uh thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are new to the channel if this is your first time hearing me seeing me go ahead hit that subscribe button click the bell icon turn on your notifications and that way you'll be notified of all future Fortnite videos live streams everything we do here on the channel and if you missed yesterday's Kevin the Cube event definitely go check that out I'll have a little anime notation uh, or card in the video and a link in the description go check out kevin the cube exploding it was a crazy crazy Fortnite event and you definitely don't want to miss it but thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys next time Bye.